In this video, I will show you how to install a BAP development tool for Eclipse. For installing a BAP development tool for Eclipse, I have to install first Eclipse. So what you have to do, you have to open your Google and you have to search for HANA tools on demand. As soon you click on search button, there will be first site SAP development tool. You have to click on that site and this page will appear. And once this page will appear, you have to click on ABAP because we want Eclipse installation for ABAP. So you can see here, so we can see what all are the prerequisite to install the Eclipse for ABAP. There should be Eclipse platform, either it should be version of 06, 2021, 06, 09 or 12. And we can see what all are the operating system is supported and which Java runtime version is required and if you are working with on-premise system, we need SAP GUI. And if you are working on cloud, we don't need SAP GUI. We will be working on SAP BTP ABAP environment directly. So there we don't need SAP GUI installation. But if you have SAP GUI installation, this should be 7.60 version and higher than that. So here in this page, we can see the prerequisite. And once we see the prerequisite that that's, we are satisfying those all the prerequisite, then we have to click on the Eclipse 2021, there will be link latest version of the Eclipse link will be available. You have to click on that. Once you click on that button, it will take you to the Eclipse side. We have to come down and we have to install Eclipse ID for Java developer. And based on your system, if you are working on Windows, you have to click on, you have to install the Windows version. If you are to, if you are working on Linux or MacBook, based on your requirement, you have to click. And once you click on this button, there will be one download button will be available. You have to click on download button and you will get one zip file. As soon as you will get the zip file, you have to extract that zip file. And after that, I will show you what you have to do. You have to click on this button. And the, once you click on download, there will be one zip file. Once you will extract this zip file, you will open that folder. Then we have one application program Eclipse that we can installed in our system we have to double click on that and it will allow us to install uh, if we have if we are not satisfying zre or zdk version then it will not allow us to install once the eclipse installation is done in our system we done with the eclipse installation but not for the it is not ready for to start coding in ABAP. still we have to aid the ABAP development tool in the eclipse how to do that if you go in the help and uh, if you before doing that, if you click on that Windows button and you open, try to open the perspective and you will see there will be no ABAP perspective available as of now. So we have to aid, how to aid this ABAP perspective over here. For that, what you have to do, you have to click on help button and you have to click on the install new software. Here, where I will get this link you have to go again that sap development tool site you have to copy the this link hana on demand latest version link you have to copy this link and you have to come here again in eclipse and you have to paste this link it will show you what all are the tools are available we only need abap development tools right? and after selecting once you have selected you have to click on next button as of now i already installed the eclipse and this IDT tool. So for me, the option is not enabled. So, but I have a screenshot. What you can do after that, once you click, you have selected a web development tool and you have to click on next button. You have to accept the license of the agreement. And once you accepted the license, the this ABAP development tool for Eclipse got installed in your system. You can open now this ABAP perspective. You have to click on perspective and you have to click on other and you can open the ABAP perspective like this. Perspective, open perspective, other, ABAP perspective. So once you click on ABAP perspective, it will open it up. One second, like this. So for you, it will be blank initially. You have to add new project. For adding new project, you have to click on this button and you have to click on ABAP project. As soon as you click on the ABAP project, the all the system available in your SAP GUI installation 
will come up here. If you don't have any system in SAP GUI, then no system will appear here. So first you have to configure the system in SAP GUI and you, you are able to work in SAP GUI using those logon, then only you can work in Eclipse. So as soon as uh, this screen will appear, you have to select appropriate system and you have to give the your SAP GUI client ID, user ID and password. And once you enter those client ID, user ID and password, you are done with the DDT tool installation. Now you can work like, or you can create new program, you can create new classes and everything. So how to create one basic package, basic program and class that I have already explained in one of the, my initial video where I have, I have explained the new and value operator. You can watch out that one. The link is up, available on the screen. So if you want to, if you want to access this word document, I already uploaded this word document on my LinkedIn and the link is given in the description. You can go out and check out that one. 